this mic, no stress mic.com. And uh, I want to talk about uh, uh, surviving in the city, kind of. And the, the reason I say that is I'm still new. And so I want to give you kind of the impressions of living in the city from a, a, a new guy. Uh, I mean, it's a new experience for me. I mean, I've visited the city many times, so that's not a big deal. But living in the city, that's a big deal. Uh, I'm surprised any uh, city people watch my videos because you can't relate to anything <laughs> because I'm learning I can't relate to all you city folk. I've always wondered, I hear city folk talk about things happening. And uh, uh, and I, I can never understand why and how they put themselves in that type of situation. Now I'm in that situation. And, um, and it's because my new wife, she, she's, got a, she's got an apartment here. And in China, uh, remember I always said, in foreign countries, it seems like things are more obvious. And uh, in China, the ones that live in the village, I've made videos about the village, are, are, are out of the city. Uh, they're, uh, they're considered a low class. And they're, uh, they're, uh, what do you call them? Well, they don't have any money. And, you know, they, they work. I mean, they, you know, they grow things, they do things like that. And in China, that's considered low class and it's considered bad. And, you know, like I say, I'm a cowboy. Uh, we're out on a small community, out, out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, so my views are different. And now it seems like, so I'm trying to adjust to the city life. And the only reason why I'm even doing it is because, like I say, I've got a Chinese wife and uh, I'm in China. And uh, uh, it's very hard to function for me, for me to function in China. And, uh, and it's even worse since I'm in the city. And this, this is the thing that gets me is I've, I've based my life around shit at the fan. I mean, it's always happening to me. And I'm not saying it like I'm complaining because I ask for it. I go, I put myself in situations where uh, things could happen. I mean, in other words, I get out of my comfort zone. And when I get out of my comfort zone, of course, <laughs> things happen. <laughs> and uh, uh, that's what happens to me. Uh, now, uh, now since I'm living in the city, uh, I have a different look at um, uh, the basics of survival and the basics of, of life in general. It's, it's, I'm looking at things different. And the thing is, okay, first, and this is what I want to talk about, the basics. Uh, and, you know, we have, the basics is water. We, you know, I mean, as, a, as humans, we need water. So water is a necessity. Another thing is food. And, uh, you know, the same thing. We, we need nutrition. 
and then shelter. Uh, a lot of people think, well, you know, you can get shelter anywhere. No, I want to talk about all of these in detail. And I'm looking at it now, I'm looking at it through the eyes of uh, uh, a newbie as a city city boy. Uh, I'm, I'm a newbie at this, so I'm still... I'm still trying to figure out how this works. Now, uh, boy, was that gunfire? <laughs> no, it's fireworks. Uh, uh, now, another reason, <laughs> this is another reason why I chose, if I want to live in the city, I chose China. And the, the reason is, uh, I, I don't get along in the city at all. In um, I was going to say the United States, but it's I don't get along in the city anywhere, any country I've ever gone to. Uh, I don't do well in the city. And this is why you hear me talk about city folk. Uh, it's just the lifestyle is way too different. Now here, uh, the thing is, uh, yes, it's way too different. But you got to remember, I have no communications. I can't talk. Uh, I can't read the signs. Uh, I uh, have no friends. Uh, I have no connections at all. I am completely, completely on my own on everything. Helicopter. Now that's the first time I've heard a helicopter since I've been here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but there it is. But, uh, so there's so many new things here to me. Now I'm hoping that I, after the newness wears out, then I'm, I hope uh, I don't look for an excuse to get away. I, I hope not. But then again, the another reason why I chose China is uh, I'm not a rich man, but. I can afford, in China, I can afford to go someplace else. And uh, my wife has owned this apartment for I don't know how, how long she's owned it, but she's, she can, these, it's very minimal on upkeep. She's got a very, very simple life. That's another reason why I chose her. And uh, so we can uh, keep, I mean, keep the apartment and we can move someplace else. Even if we, like, um, we move for a month or two in one location and maybe we'll go someplace else. Uh, we'll come back here for another month or two or three and then go someplace else, depending on the weather. The weather's going to be, I know, one of the big things. I know uh, um, now next, probably January, I will probably won't be here uh, in at this this apartment, this location, because it's a little too chilly. And uh, I'm still uh, uh, having problems on physical workout. I, I can't do physical workouts. Um, as, and that's another problem I've found in the city, is um, uh, I can't stay in shape. I work out different than most people. Most people go look for a treadmill or the bicycle thing or something like that. Okay, I work out with weapons. And um, and the reason is I don't like working out, but with weapons you have to practice. And the practice is physically good for you. So, you know, why not? I'm benefiting two ways. It's good for me in the way of health and it's good for me because I'm learning how to use a, a particular weapon. And these weapons that I'm talking about is uh, like a staff, a, a sword, machete, uh, just all, all kinds of things like that. Uh, even a slingshot. Uh, but like I say, in the city, uh, I can't do those things. I scare people when I work out with those things. So that's been one of the hang-ups that I'm having. Uh, problem here. Now, getting back to the necessities, the reason why I'm bringing all this up is all of this is a total thing that you have to look at.
I mean, like I say, I'm the newbie for the city. And so there's things that you, are, city folk, are already used to. I am not. And so to my virgin eyes, I see problems. And I'm sure you've already figured this stuff out. I'm sure you have because you've been living in the city all this time. I haven't. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start with water. And let me see if I can find a... I want to see what time. It's hard for me to see the time on this, this thing. Oh, man. I'm already used up <laughs> one, one video just trying to lay everything out. So... Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start another video, and I want to start talking uh, about, um, like I say, the necessities of life uh, as you're living in the city through the eyes of a new guy. So this is Mike, no stress Mike, dot com. I'm going to work on part two.